Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Batman, Kings of Fear, issue number one of six. All right, the uh, cover on this tells me a lot of what I'm going to see inside this comic book, and the inside of the comic book tells me everything I need to know about the inside of this comic book. We're going to get on that in just a moment. So, Kings of Fear, chapter one, split decision by Scott Peterson, and art, for the most part, by Kelly Jones, uh, pencils and inks. Michelle Madsen colors, Robert Le uh, Rob Lay on letters, Jones and Madsen do the cover, and Bill Sienkiewicz does the cover art, the variant cover art, I should say. So what basically happens is this is a very older school version of Batman. Like this is way back in the 400 to 600, uh, issue number 400 to 600 or so era of the, um, the Batman. I think probably more in the 600. Anyway, yeah, right around that era of, like, Detective Comics, this was pretty cool. I gotta admit, this was pretty cool, all right? This is an older version of Batman where he's wearing the regular cloth outfit, and he's got, like, a hundred more abs than a normal human being possibly could. <laughs> Just, like, the the ribs are, per like, he's got muscles on his ribs and stuff. <laughs> Gotta, like he's bench pressing with his ribs. It, it's sick. It's crazy. It's asinine. It's crazy enough to actually work. I really miss this old version of Batman. All right, where the the villains are just pure evil for the most part. Joker just wow, <laughs> just off somebody literally because he was bored. Uh, it's over the top. It's crazy, and that's exactly what you're gonna get when you read this. And the art alone tells you that's exactly what you're gonna get. And the writing just perfectly adds to that. Excuse me. Uh, if I had to say anything, it's that there's a psychologist here, whatever, one of the caseworkers or something to that effect, one of the doctors from Arkham... Oh, man, not feeling good. From Arkham Asylum, um, who's just really upset that Batman gets just waltz in and out. I had to go through all sorts of security clearances and do this and that and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, shut up. You know what I'm saying? Did Batman turn around and say, hey, stupid, how exactly did Joker get out? Hmm? That's why I can waltz in and out whenever I want. How about that? How about that? So she's just doing a whole bunch of basically just blathering. Blah, 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 blah. I don't like that. You can just walk in here. Oh, you just, a whole bunch of people, you know, uh, these guys uh, escaped somehow. 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 Everybody in the freaking asylum just escaped. And the doctor comes running up after Batman has to turn off the lights and beat the living snot out of everybody. And... It was an awesome beating. Holy crap, it was an awesome beating. And this freaking moronic doctor comes up afterwards, after Batman uh, stifles a situation with beatings, and says, look what you just did. You just sat here and you, you validated and vindicated them and showed them that violence is the only way to, to handle whenever there's some kind of a problem that shows up. Um, what was I supposed to, what was Batman supposed to do? Sit down and play a game of Parcheesi? What was he supposed to do? Freaking moron. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the situations where you say, okay, you know what? Here, Penguin. Penguin, probably the least dangerous of all these guys here. So I'll tell you what. How about how about this? Go ahead. You go ahead and take out the Penguin, all right? You, you go ahead and show me how you're going to handle the Penguin. Hey, uh, Oswald, I'm going to sit over here. Okay, I'm going to sit over here. I'm going to sit this one out. This one's all yours. Go ahead. Show me. Show me how you're supposed to deal with it properly. This, this doctor was ridiculously annoying. <laughs> so, I uh, um, basically, if Peterson wants me to like the doctor, got a lot of work to do. If uh, Peterson wants me to hate the doctor, good job, sir. <laughs> good job. I, I'm already right there. So we'll see what happens uh, as as the comic book progresses. But this is a really fun ride. You know what I'm saying? This is that older school detective comic style story. And uh, yes, it does indeed have something to do with the... Uh, the Scarecrow, but you'd have to read the comic in order to, to understand what that is. All right, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.